Good morning, Indiana! Welcome back! Welcome to the 2022 first robotics competition and this year's challenge for the first time here in Indiana, Rapid React! Woo! This year's challenge is presented by the Boeing Company. We're going to see more from them a little bit later on. But first, I just wanted to say, it's so great to be back. Give it up. It's been a long time. We're all a little rusty. It's been a few years. Be gentle with each other. It's going to take a while for us to get back into the swing of things. But after a couple of hours, we're going to forget that it's been as long as it has been, and everything's going to feel right back home. Welcome back. We're so excited to have you here. We hope you're excited to be back here, too. This season, First Forward, presented by Qualcomm, challenges first teams to look to the future of transportation, taking lessons from the past and evolving transportation modes into something better for the planet and its inhabitants. You, yes, you, are the driver of tomorrow's breakthroughs, and this weekend we come together to celebrate you and your creativity, talents, smarts, energy, and spirit. As we rethink the future of transportation and explore exciting new technologies, who better to step up as presenting sponsor of Rapid React than the Boeing company. Boeing has been on the leading edge of transportation space for decades. To learn more about that, I want to introduce a video from the chief technology officer of Boeing, who's also a first volunteer and a big believer in the first mission. Please take a look at the screen, and we'll enjoy that video together. Hello, FIRST Robotics competition teams, and welcome to Rapid React, presented by Boeing. I'm Naveed Hussain, Chief Technology Officer at Boeing and former FIRST Robotics competition judge. The skills you are developing today will be the skills you'll use to innovate a better tomorrow, and I've seen it firsthand. I've had the chance to meet many of you in the arena and see your teams in action, competing, creating, and building the confidence to go further. At Boeing, we know you are the generation that will propel us forward. People who were in your footsteps not long ago are now at Boeing. How will you be part of the future of transportation? All of us at Boeing wish you a safe and fun competition season as your innovation, creativity, and ingenuity continue to propel you forward. We are excited to partner with Boeing for the Rapid React season. Achieving new heights has never been more within our reach, so a big thanks to our presenting sponsor, Boeing. Let's give it up for Boeing, who's making this season possible. We have some great teams all over from Indiana here with us today. We have a lot of veteran teams. We also have a rookie team. Give it up for our rookie team. But I also know that in some ways, a lot of us feel like rookies. This might be our first competition ever. If this is your first competition ever, make some noise. Let's hear it for all the rookies on all of our teams we have with us here today. Next up, we just heard from Boeing, but FIRST has an amazing lineup of supporters cheering you on, including some that you just might recognize a little bit more than Boeing. Uh, you know them, you love them. Let's hear from a, free, a few of your fans at Disney who really want to hear from you. Take a look at this video. Hello, FIRST teams and fellow spectators. We hope you're having a blast at today's FIRST competition. We wish we could be there with you. More than ever before, we need ambitious, creative, and optimistic minds to solve the world's greatest challenges. Through the power of science, technology, engineering, and math, today's students can face these challenges and create the futures they imagine, both for themselves and their communities. That's why this year, 
We are excited to showcase how FIRST teams are using their STEM know-how and creativity to be forces for good through Build the Future, powered by Star Wars Force for Change. And we want to hear from you. We are here to remind FIRST teams to make sure that they submit their stories for the chance to be featured on the global stage. How are you and your teammates using your STEM skills beyond gameplay to be forces for good in your communities? Submit your stories at firstinspires.org slash build the future for the chance to be featured. We can't wait to hear your stories of hope and innovation. Have fun at today's competition and may the force be with you always. Let's give it up for Disney and Star Wars. That's amazing. As they said in the video, go to firstinspires.org slash build the future to share your team's story for a chance to be featured in the Build the Future powered by Star Wars Force of Change. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker. I have a little bit of a preamble first, though. I really want to make sure that we have time and space to recognize all of the educators and administration that helps to make first so important, right? We all know. STEM education is crucial. And having a team and a school and administrators and teachers and all of the educators in our life to help encourage STEM education and empower our youth to follow their dreams and make our world better is crucial. And so that's why it's my honor to introduce the superintendent of the school system that we're in right now, Northwestern Schools, who is a, uh, I'm an alumni of, a product of, so I know firsthand how important it is to have a school that supports you. Um, and so it's my pleasure to introduce Superintendent Kristen Bilkey as our first guest speaker. Please give it up for Superintendent Bilkey. Good morning. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel was a fantastic student at Northwestern High School. We are very proud of her and all of her accomplishments. So thank you for the introduction. My name is Kristen Bilkey, and I'm superintendent of Northwestern School Corpor Corporation, home of the award-winning Cybertooth Robotics team. Shout out! First Robotics was designed to get students across the country to re-energize and be passionate about inventing, problem solving, and working hard at what matters. By participating in robotic events like the one today, research conveys that these students have the best opportunity to excel at the future they choose for themselves. It is a beautiful day and my distinct honor to welcome you today to the very first competition of the 2022 first robotics season. Good luck, teams, and may the best robot win. Thank you so much. Let's give another round of applause for Superintendent Bilkey. Thank you. And while we're at it, let's also give a round of applause for all of the other educators and administrators who are here today who make FIRST possible. Thank you. Another group of folks that first would not be possible without is our amazing sponsors. And so uh, that's really important for us to highlight. We also want to hear from them. Our second guest today is a really important sponsor that you're going to learn more about. Joining us today is the Global Director of Hardware Design and Innovation from Borg Warner Power Drive Systems. Tim has always spent his career either developing new technologies or implementing new designs to be used in the automotive market. He enjoys the challenges of progressing an idea into a finalized product that can be sold into a demanding, ever-changing market. A lot of what he does is similar to what we do, right? We start with an idea, we build a robot, and we have the end product that accomplishes all of these amazing things day in and day out. He started off as a, as a semiconductor development engineer for General Motors and now leads a global engineering team which designs state-of-the-art electronics for Borg Warner customers. 
These products include high power, high voltage inverters for the electric vehicle market, engine controllers, electric vehicle battery control systems, and driveline systems. After all this time, Tim's passion is still there to lead teams to make an idea into a reality. Technology may change, but the fundamental need for teamwork, collaboration, and responsibility will always be the catalysts to make it happen. Tim has a Bachelor of Science in Engineering and a Master's Degree in Business from the University of Pittsburgh. He's also attended electrical engineering courses at Purdue, boiler up, while employed at General Motors. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Tim Vass from Borg Warner. Thank you. So hello everyone today, as you heard, my name is Tim Vass. Uh, I'm really excited here today to be here today. I was out in the pit crew and looking at uh, some of the crews, talking to some of the participants and students. Uh, I'm really amazed at what I see. I see a lot of complex uh, systems, everyone working together. I'm also shocked to when, uh, <laughs> when you actually knew what you had to build was not that long ago, so it's, it's astounding to me, and uh, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, I uh, see the passion and teamwork that it takes to do this. Uh, you need to go in with your eyes open, right? And you look at this, and you take this, and you all work together from nothing to something. That's a passion of mine, as, I, uh, as you heard earlier. That's the toughest part, right? It's good to have ideas, but to make them actually work is really difficult. Uh, as said, I'm the global director of uh, hardware design at Borg Warner. It's a powered uh, drive systems. So think about it. We make the vehicle go down the road with electronics. Uh, we, uh, are in the, as you know, we're in the middle of this upheaval of the whole industry going to electric vehicles. It's happening everywhere. Uh, you could debate all you want. It's happening. Uh, these are very complex systems uh, that take uh, sometimes one program, 200 engineers in, in three continents. So uh, teamwork is key, collaboration is key, just like what you did today. Uh, in fact, at Borg Warner, uh, my team is in uh, all over the world. We're in Shanghai and here, uh, Luxembourg, Germany, uh, Singapore, but also in, in Indiana. We have two tech centers, one here in Kokomo and one in uh, Fishers. Uh, we do this type of work. You would be amazed just a few miles from here how much technology is being designed for state-of-the-art products. Uh, in fact, one of the products we have is an 800-volt, 300-amp, or actually goes to 600-amp power drive system for a, a European car company, Porsche. Just think about that. How many here would like to have that bad boy on your robot, right? <laughs> There's a few hands there. Uh, but the challenges of that are just amazing and what it takes to make it happen. Uh, in fact, that car goes from zero to 60 in less than three seconds. So uh, think about it. So seriously, what does it take to make this all happen? It takes teamwork. It takes a lot of different skills. And it takes a lot of different things, like inclusion, everybody's included, integrity, everybody says what they really, really think and they follow through with excellence, responsibility and collaboration. That's baked into Borg Warner's culture. And think about it, what it takes to make the team work is those attributes. So teamwork sounds great, but probably every one of you, if you think about your journey as a team, you would say, you know what, teamwork is great, but boy, it could be really, really messy at times, right? But that's the key point is you work through that as a team and the results are really worth it. So before I go, I want to encourage all of you. I see a lot of, uh, I look out there, hey, I'm a, I'm a nerd, I'm an engineer. Uh, I am so excited, I wanna go back out to the pit when I get a chance after I watch some competition. Uh, I want to encourage everybody It's here. You obviously like to make things work, and that means you're, you're mechanically oriented, electrically oriented, software oriented. I want you to really seriously think about a tech degree. I don't care if it's science or uh, engineering. 
uh, really consider there is a shortage of scientists and engineers in this country. The number one thing limiting my team from doing more work is I cannot find engineers. We hired 600 last year. We need to hire another 1,000 next year. They're just not there. So the career is fantastic. If you like doing this, you'll love being an engineer, trust me. Maybe more paperwork. But honestly, uh, it's a great career. Honestly, it pays very well. You could move around the country or the globe. I always kid and say, you could live in Kokomo and be an engineer for Borg Warner and live at your parents rent free and be rich. Sorry, parents, it's part of the spiel. But it's a, it's, a, it's a really good career. You could go into different technologies. If I look at my career, it's changed so much. So I really want to, you to take a good look at that. Uh, if you do go into engineering or tech, reach out to Borg Warner. We have internship programs all around the world. I'd love to hire you. I'd love to hire you as engineers when you graduate. Uh, reach out. Uh, we have places all over the world to work, and especially in Kokomo and uh, Fishers Carmel area as well as Michigan. So um, I want to just tell you all good luck. I also want to emphasize usually the best team is the team that has the best teamwork. Teamwork is tough, it's messy, it's worth it. So good luck today. And I was going to say, contestants, start your robots, but I won't say that. So good luck, everybody. Thank you, Tim. Let's give it up again for Tim, Borg Warner, and all of our other sponsors that made today possible. I'll only say one thing in response to Tim's thing. Two things, actually. One, get an engineering degree. I did it. I love it. Two, check with your parents first before moving in with them after you get your engineering degree to make sure that they're OK with that, right? They might be. They might be. But just check. Just check. Next up, it's my honor to recognize a very important group of people who you've already probably been talking to our judges, led by our judge advisor, Fred Desenzo. Judging for this event is mostly being done remotely, but we do have a couple of our amazing judges here with us in person today. So keep an eye out for those folks in the blue polo shirts over back here. Judges, can you go ahead and give a wave to the crowd? These are the folks that you need to keep an eye out for. They're doing an amazing job. Thank you to our judges. Next up, another group of volunteers who you will, maybe you haven't interacted with a ton yet, but you will very soon. They're very important. Their job is to make sure that there's fair play happening here on this field, to make sure that you are playing within the rules of the game, and to help all of our teams compete like crazy while maintaining gracious professionalism. Their rulings are final, and there's no video reviews. This group, a group of rock stars. Please give it up for our amazing referees coming across the field right now, led by our head referee, John Kentfield. Along with our referees helping to ensure that this competition today is fair, safety is also a huge priority at first. We want you to have fun and also be safe at the same time. I promise you, it is possible. Please welcome one of the people who is helping today make, uh, make sure that it's as safe as possible, our safety manager, Lori Elston. Lori, thank you so much. Also, congratulations to team 1939, the Knigets from Kansas City, Missouri. They created a terrific award-winning safety animation that we're now gonna watch together. Please check it out on the screen over there. Oh, 
technology is helping people and cargo move a better planet faster and further than ever before. Let's follow one package to see how the future of transportation is safe for all. People and robots often work together to create products and get cargo ready for shipping. Just like in FIRST, safety training is important when working with robots. Robots will also have safety features like sensors and cameras to avoid injuries. Planes, trains, and semi-trucks can be powered by electricity and renewable energy in the future to be safer for our planet. Self-driving cars, drones, or delivery robots will use LiDAR and the Internet of Things to avoid accidents and crashes. Each year, 40 million people are injured in car accidents worldwide, so these technologies could save lives. And, and help, help us go, go faster, faster farther, and, and safer, safer than ever before. Alright, thank you. Let's give it up for the Knigets who made that amazing video! And keeping on the theme of safety, the event committee would like to remind everyone to please wear your mask over your nose and mouth at all times in the building if you're not actively eating or drinking. If you have any questions about this, please be sure to talk to an event manager. Also, please keep all food and drink out of the field house, just as another gentle reminder. The masks. I know it's a little silly. I don't have mine on right now because I'm going to be running around and talking a lot, but I'm going to have it on for the rest of the event because it's really important that we all wear a mask, keep each other safe. I know it's been a long time, but if you keep it on, please, that will be really helpful. And it's so that one day we can have events again without masks. So please wear a mask. It'll make everyone's lives a lot easier. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Next up, we're going to talk gracious professionalism. We all know it. We all love it. It's really important. We can thank Woody Flowers for it, who helped launch the first robotics competition alongside our founder, Dean Kamen. He created the term gracious professionalism, which is really at the heart of the first experience. Let's go ahead and hear from Woody himself how he defined gracious professionalism. Let's check out this video on the screen. And first, we do our best work while helping others and treating folks with respect and kindness. If you compete, that's that if your grandmother saw everything that you did on a national television program, she would be very proud, then it'll be okay. Gracious is mostly about feelings, both yours and those of others. Professionalism is mostly about knowledge and its application for good. Combining the two is important, so learn everything you can and experience helping others as often as you can. Rational self-esteem is a big deal, and it is a likely outcome from practicing gracious professionalism while busting your chops in first. So use your first experiences well. They will serve you well. Gracious professionals tend to be satisfied, happy people. So, again, both gracious and professionalism are essential to the kind of meaningful life we all want to live. <laughs> Let's give it up for Woody and gracious professionalism. We are indebted to Woody for creating this ethos of first that is so crucial to the way that we all live our lives and compete at these competitions. We ask that you help us to maintain this high standard, honoring Woody's legacy by keeping gracious professionalism as a crucial part of everything that you do. Do it, and you'll make Woody and your grandmother proud. Let's give it up once more. Woody, gracious professionalism. It's so important, you guys. All right, you may have noticed there is one group of people I've not yet thanked. I would last and certainly not least, mentors and coaches. Thank you. You are part of, yes, yes, we're going to do more. We're going to do more cheering, but it's good for us to get it out. They deserve all the applause. 
There are millions across First Lego League, across First Tech Challenge, across First Robotics Competition. We have all these mentors, we have all these support systems that help our students to make their dreams into a reality. If you're a mentor or if you're a coach, can you go ahead and stand up if you're able? And let's give it up for our mentors and coaches. Thank you. Students, if you haven't personally thanked one of your mentors today, please do. It's really nice. They're spending a lot of time. Yeah. All right. I know I've been talking for a long time. We're almost ready for takeoff. But before we set our robots into action, let's take a minute to commit ourselves to a world where everyone feels safe and lives free of fear. Please rise for our national anthem. Remove your hats. AV crew, please. <laughs> I see you over there. First match, let's go ahead and load onto the field. And pretty soon, we are going to be starting Indiana's first game of Rapid React. Give it up. Who's excited? Thanks, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.